This video is about trigeminal neuralgia. There are several causes that can lead to trigeminal neuralgia, a hyperactive dysfunction of the trigeminal nerve causing lancinating pain in the face, which is often triggered by tactile stimulation. One of the causes is the trigeminal nerve vascular loop syndrome, where a vascular loop compresses a trigeminal nerve at its root entry zone along the lateral pontine surface. Other causes might be inflammatory due to multiple sclerosis or compression due to a cystonal mass. In case of the vascular loop syndrome, the best diagnostic clue is a high-resolution T2-weighted MRI, which shows a serpentine signal void in the cerebral pontine cistern compressing the root of the trigeminal nerve with consecutive nerve atrophy. The offending vessel is a superior cerebral artery in most of the times. Here you have this high resolution T2 MRI scan, which shows, shows that here is this atrophic right trigeminal nerve in the cerebellar pontine angle compared to the contralateral, contralateral left nerve. You see also the superior cerebellar artery here as this faint hypodense structure, which is here, seen here as a dot like structure compressing this atrophic nerve. Here you see, after contrast application, this dot-like structure enhancing corresponding to the vessel and the adjacent atrophic nerve compared to the contralateral side. It is important to note, notice, though, that it isn't uncommon to see a vessel in close contact to the trigeminal nerve but as long as there is no corresponding nerval atrophy or asymmetry to the contralateral nerve, this condition is asymptomatic and without clinical relevance in most of the cases. Here you have another case where you see the right trigeminal nerve with a bright signal compared to the left side. After contrast application, you see that the nerve shows a marked contrast enhancement, again compared to the contralateral side. This was thought to be due to inflammatory inflammation, inflammatory process. And a follow-up MRI scan showed a decrease in the contrast enhancement as well as decrease of the symptoms. Other findings that you might see in the clinical setting of a trigeminal neuralgia are bright lesions in the brainstem due to multiple sclerosis or a cisternal mass like an epidermoid meningioma or schwannoma, leading to a nerve compression. Therapy is depending on the cause. Next to conservative drug therapy, microvascular decompression is an option when having identified an offending vessel which yields a success rate of about 70%. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, it would be great if you shared, liked or commented it. You are welcome to subscribe my channel for free. Just click here. If you want to watch another of my videos, click here. If you want to go directly to my channel, click here.